Good morning, it's Nigel G4 XFG. Today we'll take a little look at this Mitsubishi PLC. If you don't know what PLC is, um, it's an industrial control computer used to control machinery, um, air conditioning, that kind of thing. This is a very, very small unit from the very early 1990s. Um, will probably be used to control maybe a small machine. Um, running across the top, we have a mains input to power the unit from 100 to 240 volts, universal power supply. Um, and across here we have uh, 12 um, isolated 24 volt inputs. Um, these status lights will light to indicate the state of those. Down here is a power light, um, a run light and an error light. If there's a hardware or programming error, that will flash. Uh, across the bottom, there's a 24 volt auxiliary output. That would be suitable for sensors, um, switches to the inputs, that kind of thing. Not suitable to power relays and contactors. So you'd have another supply for that. And 12 relay outputs, uh, just dry contacts that will switch mains and will switch up to five amps. So a reasonably powerful unit, can do quite a bit. Um, under this cover, we have the programming port, RS422 standard, uh, no use USB or ethernet in those days. A uh, little potentiometer to give um, an 8-bit um, settable register for a timer, etc. And a run stop switch, uh, run to operate the unit, stop to put it into programming mode. Uh, that's, that's the basic unit. So let's now take a little look inside. Uh, to get inside, we literally just have to prise that top off and that will come off like that. And that will now expose the main printed circuit board. So we just undo that. One screw holds this and then it should just prise out like that. There we go. Exposing the main printed circuit board. This is the brains of the unit. Uh, we have the E squared PROM there, which holds your program. That is a standard Mitsubishi chip, uh, not a standard, that's custom Mitsubishi chip, I should say, which I believe will hold the firmware. That is the brains of the unit. That is a Hitachi 8 bit microcontroller, which I'll uh, put a link to a data sheet for that one so if you're interested in that. Um, the logic connecting to the lower board. Across this side, we have the status LEDs we spoke about earlier, and a driver for them. And here we have the switches, uh, potentiometer, and the port. And that's basically all it is. There's very little in there. It's all based around this 8-bit microcontroller. Um, today, 8-bit sounds a little bit tame, but to be honest, for controlling a small um, PLC, maybe inputs turning off, on and off every now and again, it's probably more than powerful. So, okay, let's now look at the main body of the unit. Okay, in the main body of the unit, uh, we have um, some relays. They will switch up to five amps each. We have uh, a driver for those. Across here, are the, we have opto isolators for uh, the inputs. And across this side, we have a DC-DC converter that take the 24 volt supply either from the internal power supply or in some units, they were 24 volt only and didn't have the bottom. So 24 volts in and five volts out for the logic. Uh, that's the mains input. So to get the bottom PCB out, what we have to do is prise out all of these. Molex connector, the mains on it, a bit scary. And this one is the 24 volts. Now that board now, as before, will just prise out like that. Designed for very quick assembly. You wouldn't really service a unit uh, and not expensive, so you wouldn't service it. Okay, we've looked at the top of that board. Uh, underneath there is uh, just the tracks for the relays, etc. So get rid of that one. And in the bottom of the unit, we have a 24 volt switch mode power supply gain that just prizes out. Um, very, very basic standard unit. Mains comes in, fuse, filter, Reservoir capacitor. Uh, there we have a, a controller IC, MOSFET, transformer, rectifier, and um, there we have the output capacitor. All the basic stuff you find in a switch mode power supply. So there we are. That's all there is in a Mitsubishi PLC. Very very little. It's all uh, all basic stuff really. 
but they're very reliable units. They very rarely ever go wrong. Um, first class, and many, many thousands, if not millions of them still in use today worldwide. Um, if you guys are interested, I will do a little video um, on about writing a basic program for Mitsubishi and just getting one up and running. So if you're interested in that, then uh, you know, put that in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And say so if you like the video, then please subscribe uh, and like below. And uh, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear it. So, okay, many thanks. Have a great day. And I'll catch you again soon. Nigel G4XFG. Okay, bye-bye.